All right, looking at 6.7, vector operation in 3 space. In 6.6, .6, they talk about vector operation in 2 space. Looking at 6.7, now we're looking at 3 space. 3 space, you have, for example, let's set the um, unit vectors in 3 space, i, j, and k. Now, Remember that we can write vectors in this way, such that there's rounded brackets, or we could erase these rounded brackets and rewrite these vectors in square brackets. Just so that you remember th that you can write them either or, and textbooks tend to change it around. So it's important that you remember that and that you don't get confused between a vector and a point. Now, looking at all of these, these are called unit vectors. These are unit vectors in three space. I is the unit vector along the x-axis, J is the unit vector along the y-axis, and K is the unit vector along the z-axis. Now, you have some vector ABC, AB, sorry, vector AB with, with, the co with the components of A, B, and C. This, such as vector 1, 2, and 3. Now, you're to write this in the equivalent, as an equivalent vector. So these three, for example, are three different uh, are three different vectors, and you can write them in the forms of i, j, and k. 3, negative 5, and 6 can be written as 3i minus 5j plus 6k. 7, 0, negative 9 can be written as 7i minus 9k. And the last one, we can rewrite it in component form as 0, 4, and negative 2. Alright, next. Example number two. If you're given a point A and a point B, you're asked to determine the following. O, the vector OA, vector BO, vector AB, vector BA, and the magnitude of OA, magnitude of BA. So let's go through the first one. From O to A, O means that it is the vector. It is the origin point. Sorry, not the vector, but the origin point. So let's put that at the top. O, just like it did in when we had two space, O in three space means the coordinates of the origin, which are 0, 0, 0. It is not a vector, it's a point. So from point O to point A, we want to know what, how does the I change from O to A? How does the J change from O to 0 to 5? And how does the K change from 0 to 6? Well, folks, what that will be is just the 1, 5, 6 coordinates or 1i plus 5j plus 6k. All right, so in component form, you can rewrite that as 1, 5, and 6. All right, bo can be written as from b to the origin means that you're going to move from negative 2 to 0, which means up to from 3 to five, 0, that means negative 3, and from 5 to 0, which means negative 5. So in component form, that will be rewritten as 2, negative 3, and negative 5. All right, next one, A to B. How does A move to B? Well, 1 it goes from 1 to negative 2, which means down 3, 5 to 3, which means down 2, and 6 to 5 means down 1. So what will that mean in component form? Well, 
down three, down two, and down one. So that component form versus using I, J, and K. B to A. B to A is the opposite of A to B, so we change the signs. And when we change the signs, that's going to equal three, two, one. Next one, OA, magnitude of OA. Now remember, the magnitude of any function is equal to using the distance formula, and that includes four, three space. So let's show that again. This is the magnitude of AB. So we want the magnitude of AB, and that's going to equal that. All right, so what all we have to do is add up the x, y, and z squares of each of those, and then we reduce the ratio or the rational if necessary. So for OA, the values and the components were 1, 5, and 6. I can take the squares of each of these 1 squared plus 5 squared plus 6 squared. BA is the opposite of AB, so we want, there's our BA right here. The coordinates were 3, 2, and 1, the components. So we take the components, square them, and add them together, and that gives us root 14. So here we are, folks. I've shown you the different forms. Let's look at the next problem. Example number 3. If I'm giving you different vectors, such as A, B, and C, Determine the following values. Now remember that A is known as 3i plus j plus 7k, and B is negative 2i minus j plus 6k. Or you can write rewrite C in component form. So whether you like to use the i's, j and k vectors, the unit vectors, or you write them in component form, you will get the same answer. So, for vector A plus vector B, I take all the I's and, uh, and A and B and add them together, and the J's and the K's. The J's disappear, the K's you add together. How else can the, this be written? Well, we can take just these part, just the component forms. 3 plus negative 2 is 1, And 1 plus negative 1 is 0. And lastly, 7 plus 6 is 13. All right, next part. 2a minus b plus 3c. Well, 2 times a is 3, 2 times, so it's 6, 2, and 14. Okay, so let's do this slowly so that we can get these answers. One second. Okay, so if you look here, what I have set up for you is the A is, it's 2 times A, 2 times A. So the A components are 3, 1, and 7. So what I did is I made a huge component and doubled all the A. So there's your A. Next I'm going to do is subtract B. So here's our B, and we're going to subtract it. So we subtract neg negative 2, which is add 2. And then we're going to add 1 and subtract 6. So again, we're going to add 2, add 1, subtract 6. Next part is we need to add 3c, 3 times all these c values. Well, this will be 12, negative 6, negative 3. So we're going to add 12, subtract 6, and subtract 3. So 6 plus 2 plus 12 is going to give us 20. 2 plus 1 minus 6 is going to give us negative 3. 14 minus 6 minus 3 is going to give us 5. And you can rewrite this in, I, in unit vector form with i, j, and k, and we get these values. Okay.
Another way to write 2ia minus b plus 3c vector, or to rewrite that, is to write the individual parts. So, for example, 3i, 1j, and 7k, I double all of the a values. Then I subtract the b values. So subtracting them means that I'm going to change the sign on the inside. And then I'm going to add 3c, so multiply the c's, and I'm adding them all together to give us the same components as we had before. All right, next, part c. Let's say I was to say, find the magnitude of 2a minus 3b plus c. Well, we have to double the a, my, uh, s multiply the b by negative 3, multiply the c by 1, and what we have to do is first find the components of 2a minus 3b plus c. And now we need to find the magnitude of that. So now we're trying to find the components. So the first part up here is to find the components. That's these. And now we want to find the magnitude. So now we can just take the square root of all those values, and that gives us a square root of 290. Okay? All right, that's the end of 6.7, folks. Have a great day.